Hey people, Titanium here, and Smash 5 is upon us. And I say Smash 5 because I am like 75% sure that it's not a port. Uh, a lot of signs lead to it, but that's a video for another time. But maybe not, I don't know. I'm just going with that. It's a new game in the franchise. Smash 5. And I've had an idea. A three-part series where I go through the roster and, uh, you know, make a realistic decision on what the final ro final roster would be. I was, I was wanting to do this for a while, but I didn't want to do anything until the game actually got confirmed. I know it was going to happen eventually, but I wanted official confirmation from Nintendo themselves before doing this. So, let's just get right into it. So, this first video is going to be discussing just veterans. Just the veterans and who's coming back and who's not coming back. <laughs> and this is actually going to be a doozy of a video because... With Smash 4's roster, for the first time, we've seen characters come back after being cut uh, from Melee, which, uh, you know, let's lead us right into the Mario franchise, where the only character who I feel like has a chance of being cut is Dr. Mario. But at the same time, Dr. Mario was in Melee, he was intended to be in Brawl, and then he came back in Smash 4, so... Really, he was supposed to be in all three games. So, like... Is he coming back or not? I can see him coming back because Sakurai wants to, like, fill up the roster or whatever, and it'd be easier to just have more characters in there. I don't mind clones as long as there's more characters in the game. I do not care. I know some people don't like an overabundance of characters, but again, I don't care. I just want the numbers. <laughs> but, you know, it's safe to say that Mario, Luigi, Peach, Bowser, Rosalina, and Bowser Jr. are coming back. And in the next video I'll do, which will be discussing the, uh, First party characters, first and second party characters that I think can come into Smash. Uh, I'll discuss Mario characters and who has a chance of coming in. But anyway, that's it for the Mario. I say it's a safe bet that all seven Mario characters that were in Smash 4 will be coming back. As for the Yoshi and Donkey Kong series, it's, it's a safe bet that obviously Yoshi, Donkey Kong, and Diddy Kong will be coming back. Uh, as well as Wario, so let's just... Let's just get him on here. Now, the Legend of Zelda franchise is going to be quite in interesting. Uh, it was confirmed that Mario and Link will be coming back, but Link will be rocking his Breath of the Wild outfit, which really brings up a lot of questions for the Zelda franchise. Like, obviously Zelda should have her Breath of the Wild outfit. Uh, I could see them keeping Zelda's outfit, from the Smash 4 Twilight Princess Brawl. And uh, I haven't actually played Breath of the Wild yet, so I don't know what Zelda actually does in that game, but who knows. Link's moveset will definitely be getting an overhaul, maybe. Uh, as for the rest of the Zelda characters, uh, she can get in the door for an example. Ganondorf is not in Breath of the Wild. Ganon is, but Ganondorf isn't. So I can see them doing one of two things. Can just bring back Ganondorf and Sheik, from Smash 4, you know, they'll just be the same as they were in the previous installment. Or, I had this idea, but then after I saw the design for Calamity Ganon, I was like, uh, I don't know. Maybe they could bring in, like, Ganon and replace him over Ganondorf as a new character. But, that was a thought I had for a while, and then I just, it got shot down when I actually saw what Calamity Ganon looked like, so... I don't know, for now, I just see Sheik and Ganondorf coming back, but they'll be in their Smash 4 attire. As for the other Links, by that I mean Young Link and Tone Link. I know a lot of people don't really care about Young Link. They don't really want to see him back. But I don't know, man. I'm still hoping... Literally, Tone Link, that's a safe bet. Because he's the most popular Link other than just Link. So, he's safe, I think. And, you know, for those who are saying, Oh, you can't have two clones of the same character. Both Roy and Lucina were in. Smash 4 alongside Mark, so there you go with that. <laughs> and you have to pay for Roy, actually, so that was, yeah. But I can, I still, I'm, I'm grasping on to the fact that maybe they could give Young Link a new moveset representing Majora's Mask and other games that he's in. They could do that, but then again, they could do other stuff with Ganondorf, and they haven't. So the Zelda franchise is really tricky right now for as far as veterans go, so I think it's a safe bet that We'll just say that Link, Zelda, Sheik, Ganon, and Ganondorf. And Tomek will be coming back. Young Link, not so much. I'd, I'd want him to come back. I really do. 
but I'm just being realistic here. And I don't want anyone to get cut, but you know, this, this, this will be the perfect Smash game if, if they just bring back everyone who's been cut, plus new characters, and just don't cut out anybody. I hate it when games just get rid of characters. Uh, unless it's for a reason. Oh, uh, well, Ice Climbers, but we'll get to that later. So, as far as the Metroid series goes, it's a safe bet that uh, Samus and Zero Suit Samus will be coming back. And it's Samus. They're not going to get rid of Samus. As well as the fact that Samus is one of the few characters in the uh, flame silhouette thing that you can actually make out that it's Samus. Uh, now that I look at it, it might be a new design for Samus. It might not be the, uh, <laughs> the uh, Metroid Other M Samus. It kind of looks like the Samus Return Samus. So who knows? I don't know. This is all speculation. Uh, Kirby series, everyone's coming back. Kirby Meta Knight DVD, they're all coming back. This video is not going to be as expansive as the next one. The next one, that's going to be the, the funnest. That would be all of, all of them. So Star Fox. Fox and Falco coming back. And as far as Wolf is concerned, uh, he's coming back. I have a good feeling that Wolf is coming back. One, he was like the mute. He's like the new Mewtwo, where everyone wanted Mewtwo for Smash Four, and you know he wasn't in until DLC. That was the character that Sakurai first considered after the original roster. So I kind of feel like Wolf is the new Mewtwo, where everyone wants him back. So maybe. Plus, the popularity of Star Fox has come up since Star Fox Zero and Star Fox Two have come out. I don't think Wolf's in Star Fox Two. I don't really <laughs> not that knowledgeable on Star Fox. But I, I, I think Wolf has a chance. I think Wolf has a chance. So Pokemon, this is going to be... Whoa. So the Pokemon characters I were in Smash 4 are Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Mewtwo, Charizard, Lucario, and Greninja. That's six. There are three Pokemon veterans that have been cut out in the past two, three Smash games. Those being Pichu, Squirtle, and Ivysaur. Now... As far as these nine characters go, it's a safe bet that Pikachu, Jigglypuff, only those two, honestly. No, and I guess Charizard. Those three are for sure 100% coming back. Maybe. I'm more leaning to just Pikachu and Jigglypuff because the Pokemon series in Smash has just been a gigantic cluster. Because, you know, Pikachu and Jigglypuff are the only ones that have been consistent besides, like, Lucario and, like, Lucario, but the thing with Lucario is, I feel like the only reason he got into Smash 4 was because Mega Evolution was introduced and they could do something different with him in his final Smash. Maybe that's not even it. I don't know. Charizard, you know. See, I want to say it's Charizard. He's coming back. I have a strong chance he's coming back. I'm just saying, they might want to do other stuff with Pokemon, but I don't know. For now, let's just say Pikachu, Jigglypuff, and Charizard are 100% coming back. Uh, they've been the most consistent. Pikachu and Jigglypuff, anyways. Charizard hasn't really had a, you know, hasn't been in Smash for a super long time, so it's hard to tell. Uh, Mewtwo. I want to say Mewtwo's safe, but I feel like that Mewtwo's just going to be like the poster board DLC character where they're, they're just going to make him DLC every time. It's hard to tell what they're going to do for Smash 5 if they're just going to make previously DLC characters like Mewtwo or Roy and make them normal in-the-game characters. It's kind of hard to say. Uh, Lucario and Greninja, it's really hard to tell at this point. They could do anything. Greninja, I was going to say it's like the only character in Smash 4 that it's like I can really lean towards the fact that he's getting cut. If it wasn't for Ash Greninja, I know what a lot of you guys are saying, oh, that's from the anime, but no, it was actually in the games. Uh, Sun and Moon. Gen 7. Ash Greninja's in there. So, they could. They could do that. But, what I do know for a fact, and it really breaks me to say this, but, uh, I don't think Pichu or Squirtle or Ivysaur is coming back. They're not coming back. I, I, as I said before, I want all cut characters to just come back and just be in a Smash game together. But Pokemon, the franchise is so expensive. They're not going to waste a slot on these characters, who I like. These are some of my favorite characters in the franchise. And out of all three of these, I'd say maybe Squirtle has the best chance of coming back. Or Pichu, if they just want to put a clone in there. And Pichu is my favorite like video game character of all time, which is really weird to say. But 
I would really like him to see him so much, but it's just... If I'm being realistic, I don't see those three coming back. So, again for <laughs> the Pokemon franchise as a whole, it's super hard to say. But for now, let's just keep the six Pokemon we have. And we'll expand upon that in the future. So, F-Zero, Earthbound, uh, those characters are safe. Uh, Captain Falcon safe. Nuts is safe. And I feel like Lucas is safe as well. Even though he's DLC in Smash 4, he's been in two games in a row. He's safe. Uh, I would like to say that for more characters, like if you're in a game twice in a row, you're set. But, I don't know, that doesn't really... That's not really seeming like truth now. But, you know, Ness and Lucas are... You know, Lucas, like, actually. like If you take out Lucas and then not give us Mother 3, that's just... Come on, I can also see Lucas being DLC poster boy along with you two. At the same time, I can just see them just putting Lucas on the base game more than I can see them doing that with you two. So these three are set. Fire Emblem, alright, here we go. This is going to be just as confusing as Pokemon was. Marth is a good to go. He's safe. Literally every other Fire Emblem character has some... Eh, like, it's really hard to say which ones are coming back and which ones aren't. Roy, out of all the DLC characters, feels like the most cheap to make DLC. Like, alright, Lucas was a semi-clone of, uh, the Ness. And I guess Roy is a semi-clone of Mark, but Roy just still feels like... I don't know, I don't feel like... Uh, Roy's kind of weird. I like Roy. He's definitely, like... You know, out of all the Fire Emblem characters, probably like my third favorite. That's not really saying a whole lot, but still. Uh, I don't know what they could do for Roy. Roy, he, I, I feel like Sakurai only put Roy in because he wanted to fit as much Fire Emblem as possible. And he didn't want to add, like, more Fire Emblem characters without bringing back one he had from Melee. After he realized his, like, love for the series or whatever. So I feel like Roy is, eh, is if he will get back to that in a bit. Uh, Ike, again, I would want to say Ike is safe, but the thing is, Radiant Dawn and Path of Radiance, they're not, they're not relevant at all. So, so I feel like he only put them in Smash 4, you know, I, I, I have no idea. Fire Emblem series is really weird. Uh, we'll get back to Roy and Ike later, but again, Marth is safe. Uh, Robin. Robin, Lucina, and Korn. Let's just get them all out of the way right now. These are the ones that if they're going to cut any Fire Emblem character, it's going to be most likely one of these three. Now, I can see them keeping either Robin or Lucina. they got to keep at least one of those to represent Awakening. And, you know, Fates. I love Fates. It's probably my favorite Fire Emblem game. I know it's going to piss off a lot of people by just saying that. But yeah, Corrin is one of my mains. One of my best characters. So I don't want to see Corrin go. But again, if we're going to be realistic here, it's Corrin's... I don't know. Out of these three, I think the most likely to get cut would be... It's really hard to say. Sakurai, he might just keep all of them. If he still has a boner for Fire Emblem, who knows? But it's really hard to say who's leaving and going. Again, this video is just going to be me talking about who I think is going to leave and stay, the realistic options. It's really hard to say with Smash 4, because Smash 4 has a lot of niche characters like that. Like, Robin was the only character that was put into Smash 4 who I... Like, I I didn't know who they were. I knew the Avatar in Fire Emblem Awakening because I played the demo, but that was for like five minutes and I completely forgot about the character after that. So a lot of niche characters, like, you know. I see any of these guys getting cut, it's either Robin or Lucina. I would say Lucina because she's a clone, but at the same time, she's more recognizable than Robin. So who knows? We'll get back to this some other day because Fire Emblem is just confusing in general. And don't even, get, don't even get me started on new characters. Oh, we'll talk about that later. Oh, jeez. So, for Kid Icarus, Pit and Palutena are safe. Dark Pit, I could see them actually cutting Dark Pit. While Dark Pit was probably the most hated newcomer in Smash 4, I've, I've personally warmed up to him. And, yeah, he's probably, like, my top ten, like, favorite characters to play as. Even more than Pit, even though they're clones. But the minor differences do stand out to me. So I feel like they could go either way with Dark Pit. They can cut him or keep him. But knowing Sakurai, 
Knowing his love for Kid Icarus could go either way. Again, I have no idea. So we're gonna start hitting some one-offs pretty soon. Pikmin, Olimar safe. Uh, the Animal Crossing series villager is safe. Uh, Sonic. Sonic is most likely safe. I mean, he's safe. You can't cut out Sonic. Especially since he's been in Smash two games in a row. Plus, it's fucking Sonic. They're not gonna cut Sonic. Uh, same for Little Mac and Shulk. So, Little Mac, yeah, Little Mac's definitely safe. He represents Punch Out. Safe. Little Mac is. He's, 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 he's safe. He's safe. He's, 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 I don't know how to explain it. He's safe. Now, this is. The, now, Xenoblade Chronicles. Now. I haven't played any Xenoblade game in my life, but I still I still have basic knowledge of the franchise. And as I want to say, this we'll get more into this in the next video where we discuss new characters for first party, second party. I want to say Shulk's safe, but at the same time, like that new Xeno, Xenoblade Two came out, and there are, there are a few characters that can come up with that game who can be in Smash. Uh, I could get my Xenoblade. Uh, knowledgeable friends to help me out with this maybe but i feel like the choke is safe and then they'll add another character that represents xenoblade if they don't want too many xenoblade they're definitely gonna cut shulk and add in a new character but me personally i would just like to see two xenoblade characters at once so we'll see how that goes i don't know if that's realistic or not but we'll we'll, we'll dive more deep into that later other one-offs these ones are like the series to most likely never have a second rep. Not never, but in this game, they're definitely not gonna have a second rep. Like, pretty much confirmed. Not confirmed, but I don't know, in my eyes. And some of these characters, I don't even know if they're coming back. This is super tricky now. Ice Climbers, 100% coming back. There's no way they're not bringing back the Ice Climbers. If this is a port or a new game, Ice Climbers are definitely coming back. There's no way they're not gonna bring back the Ice Climbers. Uh, Game & Watch is definitely safe. He represents the original, old-school Nintendo Game & Watch, obviously. Rob, again, one of the characters that was kind of eh for Smash 4 if he was coming back. Uh, I feel like he is coming back this time as the retro characters, like Ice Climbers and Mr. Game & Watch, they're safe because they represent Nintendo's. They've never... Ice Climbers is the only retro character they've ever cut out, and that was due to system limitations, so Rob's safe. Now, Snake... This is super tough, and like Pichu and the rest of the Pokemon and Young Link, I want to see Snake come back, but knowing, I don't know, they didn't, there was nothing, nothing was said about Snake for Smash 4 of why he was cut, except Hideo Kojima saying, oh, it's up to Sakurai whether he wants to put him in, put him in or not, I don't know, I guess Sakurai just did not want to put him in, maybe he forgot about him, I don't know, but Snake, yeah, I want to see him come back, hopefully it could be like a surprise, like, like Cloud or Ryu, where they're like, oh god, it was, it was impossible. Something like that. I want to see Snake come back. I was iffy about Snake at first, but I've grown to like him. Uh, I don't want to see any universes get cut out, period. But it, it'll probably happen. Uh, Wii Fit Trainer is super weird, because I think the Wii Fit craze has ended. The whole Nintendo catering, like the Wii and Wii U were like family systems for you know, families to play together. The Switch is kind of like that, but it's definitely catering more towards, like, just playing normal damn games on a console. So, I don't know. We Fit Trainer doesn't really have much relevancy, but who knows? I think, I think, I think she has a chance of coming back. I don't think they'd cut her out. Uh, same with Duck Hunt. Re retro character, they're not gonna, they're not gonna cut him. Alright, so let's get into the, uh, the really, really difficult part about this <laughs> for this video. The third party characters that were introduced in Smash 4, there were five of them, I think. Not counting Sonic, because I, I have more Sonic stuff to talk about next video, and just saying that gives you guys a lot and an idea. But we'll get into that later. But, anyways, Mega Man and Ryu, the Capcom characters. Mega Man is like the Sonic. Like, Sonic is to brawl how Mega Man is to Smash 4. He's like the, oh my god. I know some people might say Snake, but Snake got cut. So, yeah. If anything, I think Ryu might be the snake. The snake in the grass. No. Because I don't know. I don't know. Because I think the whole reason Snake wasn't in was Konami, I guess. Like, they really did not have anything to do with Nintendo at the time. But Capcom is going strong. There's Street Fighters coming to Switch. 
it's already been on Switch, and it's coming to Switch. Same with Mega Man. Mega Man's getting a lot of love from Nintendo at the moment, kind of, with Mega Man 11. Then again, it's coming to other consoles, but I digress all. For now, let's just say they're safe. Uh, the really two iffy ones are Pac-Man and Cloud. Because Cloud got into Smash 4. It was a miracle. Like, it was a miracle. I don't know. Can they pull this again? Can they make another deal with Square Enix to get Cloud in Smash 4? Right. Yeah, Smash 5. Because I would like to see Cloud, and hell, maybe they even might even put another Final Fantasy rep in there. Maybe not. Maybe uh, Sora from Kingdom Hearts will get into that in Part 3. But, I don't know. It's really hard to say. As well as Pac-Man. Pac-Man, uh, it's been... Bandai Namco doesn't appear to be working on this game. A lot of people have pointed out. So does that necessarily mean Pac-Man won't come back? I have no idea. But then again, Pac-Man was considered for Brawl. It's just that Sakurai couldn't come up with a moveset. He didn't know how to work a, he didn't know how to work a moveset for a damn pizza slice. Or a pizza with a slice missing. So I don't know. Maybe Pac-Man can return. And Bayonetta, it's a safe bet. Out of all of these third-party characters, Bayonetta has just as a good chance as coming back as Mega Man. We thought Bayonetta was like sort of, sort of like dying with Nintendo. It wasn't really going anywhere. Then they announced they're porting Bayonetta 1 and 2 to the Switch. Plus Bayonetta 3 exclusively coming to Switch. So, yeah, it's safe. Bayonetta's safe. And the last character, not third-party, but, you know, they're still in Smash, whether people like them or not. The Miis, they're, they're coming back. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe Smash 5 will be more hardcore as the trailer showed off the fire and the stare. And maybe this isn't a place for Miis. But then again. And also, the Miis don't really have a... Uh, they don't really show up on the Switch that much. They're only... You don't even have to make a Mii for the Switch, unlike the damn Wii and Wii U. It is completely optional on whether you want to use the Miis or not. So, uh, who knows? That's a tough call. How would they implement the Miis in Smash the only game that comes to head that uses the Miis is Mario Kart 8. And you could only, like, I don't know. There's no, like, me Central Plaza where you can just make a bunch of Miis. No, only Miis that will be on your Switch are the profiles. So it's really hard to say. So it has come to my attention that, uh, you can actually make separate Miis within the Switch. You're just, you know, I don't even think the Switch owners know, but yeah. You can make different Miis in your Switch without having to make a new user, so I was wrong. But then again, uh, I don't have a Switch, so <laughs> I wouldn't know. So anyways, uh, that was my part one discussion video on uh, the veterans and who's coming back and who's not. I don't have a definitive answer on who's coming back yet or what the roster is going to look like yet, but those are just my thoughts for now. This could be easily changed. As I said with like Fire Emblem and Pokemon, it's super confusing. It's really hard to tell of what's going to happen. But for most of them, I feel like a lot of the veterans from Smash 4 are coming back. A lot of characters, we thought way more characters from Brawl were going to get cut than they did, but not that many got cut. It was about the same as Melee when Brawl came on. But anyways... Uh, I'll talk, talk on way too long. If you guys like this video, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you want to see me like talk to other people about this, I'll probably do that in the future. But like for part two, for first party characters, I already have my own ideas of who I want for each franchise. But, you know, if you guys want to see a guest or something, let me know. We can uh, talk it out. Uh, me and some other people, person, who knows. So n coming up next, I don't know when, uh, whenever is part two where I discuss the first and second party characters who have a chance of getting into the game. And then part three coming down later than that, characters, third party characters who I, ha I feel like could get into the game. That one's going to be really hard. I'm probably definitely going to get a guess for that. <laughs> but part two, I don't know. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for the 100 subscribers, by the way, and peace, people.